And we have Masha Zays, a Torian healer specializing in animals. Yes. <laughs> Hi, Masha. Hi. Uh, can you tell us something about your experience um, working on animals with Tong Ren, the energy healing system invented by Tom Tam. Well, yes. Um, I work on uh, primarily dogs, cats, and horses. Uh -huh. And um, a lot of them have um, can from arthritis to cancer. Mm. Um, the results are phenomenal. Uh -huh. um, especially like with arthritis, you see the animal responds like within minutes after mm -hmm. receiving the um, the tongue ram. Uh -huh. um, I work with a lot of animals that are people that uh, the vets have given up on the, yeah. the dying process. Some of them mm -hmm. have kidney failure and with the tongue ran I've seen them come out of kidney failure which is you know unheard of. Mm -hmm. um, I have uh, one dog that uh, I've been working on for eight months. He was given uh, two to four weeks to live. Mm -hmm. about eight months and he had uh, cancer in his colon, prostate, oh. somewhere else. And um, anyway, it's eight months later and the dog is fine. He's you know, eating, he looks great, he runs. I mean, it's not like he's sick, he's really doing well. That's great. So it's, it's just amazing uh -huh. to um, see the changes that happen with the tongue run. And a lot of them, that's all they do is tongue run. They don't have, they're not doing any other modalities mm -hmm. except except the energy work. Do they come to you in a guinea pig class or do you do it over the phone? Um, mostly I work over the phone. So I work on them for a half hour uh -huh. at a time. Um, well, half hour is a long time. Half hour is? I thought the standard treatment for humans are 15 minutes. Oh, really? Oh, okay. I didn't know that. That's <laughs> what I heard. You okay. can do, uh, do it as long as you yeah, want. That's, no, I, I mean, feel like a half hour you know, and then I get other information from the animal as I'm working on him. So uh, through um, their the parents? Well, sometimes through them. But my background is I've been an animal communicator for over 20 years. Oh so wow! I work on them telepathically. Okay. And um, Tom's system is remarkable, but there are ailments and illnesses that are not in the book that taught, you know, that are just exclusively with, with dogs or mm -hmm. cats mm -hmm. and their own particular kinds of illnesses. So the so it's so being able to tune into them telepathically and to feel what's going on in their body, wow. you know, is, is an extra bonus to uh -huh. you know, to doing the work. So how do you figure out uh, what to do with the uh, animal illnesses which are not in the lazy bum book? Well that's you know, it's tricky, <laughs> <laughs> but it just, you know, it just, um, I use combinations of different things and it's just sort of an intuitive um, feeling. Um, I think that all of the practitioners after they've been doing the work for a while, and you probably notice this too, that you just sort of intuitively know what, yes. what, to, what to feel. And, and when and I use the human model, even though I have a cat model, a uh -huh. dog model, a uh -huh. horse model, uh -huh. um, I like using the human model. And sometimes when I I'm like tapping on a certain spot, I can just feel it in my body that oh yeah, that was the right spot, that was the right spot. And Why don't you grab that door there and the hammer, and we'll show people what we're talking about. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, here's the doll yeah. model. So. Um, Let's see. So let's say that. Uh, so do you have an animal that you know of? That um, not really. I I, I, I stopped having animals uh, okay. some time ago. All right. Well, I just got a case today, which is I haven't quite figured the whole thing out yet because things come in layers. It's not always as obvious as oh, it's a torn cruciate ligament or. You know, the, the dog is, is lame, mm -hmm. and the dog has a, was uh, rescued from the SPCA mm -hmm. was, um, in an abusive home, and mm -hmm. um, so the dog has some emotional problems as well as, you know, physical problems. Mm -hmm. So I work on both. So I start, like, with the emotional problems, so I would go to um, GB13, right mm -hmm. side, and then I go down to C2, C2 yeah. right side, yeah. and then to the heart. Sky window, right? Yeah. And H7. 
River Three. So these are some of the points for the emotional piece. Mm -hmm. When you when you say, I'm sorry. Go go ahead. You go ahead first. No, yeah, and then after I I work on one, then then I, that sort of like clears a layer, and then I then I start working on on another mm -hmm. on another piece. Mm -hmm. My question was when when you said uh, you do it over the phone. You mean you stay on the phone with them, or you? Uh, tell them that the session is starting and then you call them again at the end of the session? How does no, it I'm work? On a, I'm on a phone. I have a, a headset. Yeah. So I'm on the phone with them the whole time and then they tell me, it's really interesting, um, this case that one today, since that's what I remember now, is um, you know when I s started saying different things and hitting different points, the dog would react. Uh huh. Do they have you on speakerphone? Can the dog hear you? No, sometimes I'm on speakerphone and sometimes I'm not. It doesn't matter because the energy is the energy. I know. I you know. know. So it goes I've done from the same. Me through the person yeah. to the yeah. animal. Yeah. So it's all connected. It's yes. Like everybody's connected to the same time. Yes. Line. Yes. So, yes. I've um, been there. Uh, you know, and it's really a preference. Some people they feel more comfortable if they think their animal's hearing me tapping or doing uh -huh. the work. Uh -huh. And after I work for an, work on an animal for a while and I start to tap you know, they immediately, you know, they'll fall asleep, they get nice and relaxed. Yes, you know, I know all of this. I yeah. like them to just, you know, uh, stay relaxed for about 15, 20 minutes uh -huh. and get up and move. But they know, um, and when I have my guinea pig classes, and it's in a small room, like maybe the size of this, and I can have like 12 animals in the class, uh -huh. and some of them might even be aggressive. That's mm -hmm. one of the reasons why they might be there. Mm -hmm. But they all seem to understand that they're there for healing. Whoa. And it's really interesting because I'll work on one and when they feel like it's enough, they'll turn around or they'll lie down and go to sleep. Mm hmm When they're finished. That's good. So yeah, so they make so it's very obvious. Uh -huh. And I remember one dog even um uh decided oh. after after I finished wanted to leave and just, you know, got up and just <laughs> tugged the person right out the door. So it's really it's funny.